Well, first to thank EPC for, for organizing this and Dr. Episam in, in particular. Um, this is a historical juncture, <laughs> really, for the countries of the region, uh, given, <clears throat> given COVID, given the energy transition, um, given all the changes that we've seen as, as a result of that, increased digitalization, um, the health threats that, that the world has faced. So the EPC this year, in terms of its program, has focused on these clear, important issues, strategic issues for the region. So I applaud you, I applaud you for that. And you've also brought together uh, eminent speakers and thinkers on, on the topic. So I think some important lessons uh, moving forward, hopefully, uh, coming from this uh, conference. The subject of digital divide that was mentioned very extensively yes. on the subject. And, uh, and the decoupling that, that is... I think situated. when we talk about the decoupling, I think it's think in are, process. Uh, it started maybe two years ago, uh, particularly under the cause of US policy. I think when uh, we talk about the China, I think, I think it's now it's going to be accelerating. Uh, simply it because started maybe uh, China, two years ago, uh, which uh, they is the second biggest economy in the world, US policy, um, has to secure uh, its own interests. China. So I think they're going to be, be accelerating massively uh, simply technology, because uh, chips China, and the rest and digital uh, which they is the second and biggest and economy in the world, um, um, because has to secure its own interests. It's a matter of survival. So they're going to be when we talk about investing massively in technology, and digital chips economies, and the rest that is and the digital future. platforms so and, and for an that. economy like China, um, because they cannot be beholden to a matter of survival. US technology. So when they talk about digitalization their own and digital economies, that is the future in areas like for an economy like China. Big data, they cannot be beholden uh, data to U.S. technology. The so they are forced the Arab world, to develop their own technology uh, and this poses a choice. Where, 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 in areas like where are you going to choose? Intelligence, My big data, is that you've got to be uh, neutral. Data management uh, and we rest. don't need to choose. For Simply the Arab world, we uh, don't know this poses uh, a choice. what technology where, is going where, to be bringing in the next few years. My answer uh, is that AI is changing many things. The way we do business, the way we live, the way we work. We don't know. Uh, we uh, what should not marry ourselves to be to bringing in the next few years. Of technology. Uh, we need AI is changing more open. many things. We the way we do business, the way we live, the way we work, and therefore uh, we should not marry ourselves to just one source of technology. We need to be much more open. We need yes, to be I mean, historically, of course, the GCC countries and oil producers have been pegged to the U.S. dollar, uh, simply because the United States and Europe were the main our, our main export markets. So it made sense, really, to peg ourselves to the U.S. dollar. That's no longer the case today, because our main trade partners are in Asia and in particular China. That means that yes, I mean historically, of course, to the GCC US dollar, countries and oil have no monetary policy in US dollars. We need uh, to think, in my view, of the United States, States and Europe, where the main include the dollar, include the, include the euro, so it makes sense really to peg ourselves to the US dollar. The Chinese yuan. That's no longer and the of case course, today because our main trade and implication means that we need to and increase our linkages to Chinese that banks and financial institutions instead of. Clearly, the US dollar, which you means want, we have no monetary policy is not yet an we need to think in my view currency, of a currency basket it will be where you include uh, the dollar, not you on the scale the euro, but you these include importantly to change. the Chinese but yuan. Uh, and of China course, open up it opening also up as an implication markets. means that we, we need, need to increase, increase our linkages to Chinese banks and financial markets. institutions. Uh, with banks and Clearly, financial institutions, the yuan, the RMB, therefore, is not the CDC, yet an international uh, reserve currency. currently between Saudi Arabia will be, and the UAE. Uh, maybe not on the scale of the United States. These uh, things take because decades central to bank change. digital currencies. But certainly, to me, uh, China will replace opening up its financial markets. Bitcoin and we need to increase our linkages with Chinese financial banks and governments. Uh, with banks and financial uh, institutions, China and therefore has been one of the CDC, first countries uh, really being discussed to test it between and use Saudi Arabia uh, and the UAE several countries is extremely promising. Hong Kong and, uh, and others, because and for central and digital currencies, um, to me, again, uh, will so replace linkages like between our own Bitcoin and, and jointly say develop the credibility the Saudi of central banks and central government bank digital currency, them. and then uh, link it up to the China yuan. has been then we're opening up first countries really, really to test um, it and use new it, potential uh, several in terms countries, of payment systems, Hong Kong, digitalization, and the financial, financial sector. And, um, and the like. So again, very so promising linkages the between our own okay, thank you, thank jointly say developed UAE Saudi central bank digital currency and then link it up to 